Hello you. This is Sword of Peace on the ZX81 and it's taken a few goes and I didn't think it worked but well I think it's worked it's come up with this. Um, I've got no idea. I mean it's list it started with a list of the game by the looks of things. Um, I don't know whether I should do run uh, <clears throat> or list. Let's do Okay. No idea. Let's do run. Run. Do you require instructions? Yes, that would probably be a good idea. I mean, I've got some instructions here. <coughs> Excuse me, I really wasn't expecting to be recording today, or let alone now. Nah, not even got a drink or anything. Uh, yes, instructions. Yes, please. The Sword of Peace. You are the Crown Prince of Oz, and to prove that you are worthy of becoming the Monarch of Oz, you are sent on a quest. You are cast into a dungeon where you must find four objects of state. Each object of state is on one paving stone in a hundred by hundred floor. This stone is called the Magic Spot. On your travels you will meet monsters. They will either be good, neutral, or evil. This is the same as in here, I think. Yes. Evil monsters will try to kill will try row kill you by casting spells on you which weaken your strength. Neutral monsters will act as either good or evil monsters. Good monsters will do you good. The first one you meet will give you a distance meter which will tell you how far away you are from the magic spot. The second will give you a compass which will read minus one, zero or one. And <coughs> yes, this is the same. Right, so I don't necessarily need to be reading that. Um, one one means you should move positive in both X and Y. Oh God! Yeah, so they're doing because I'll forget that. So at least I've got them written down on this inlay card. Further good monsters will increase your strength or teach you more spells. When you meet a bad monster, you'll be asked for a spell number. Initially, you only know spells number one, one, two, and three. Zero is run away. To move when given the Q direction or run away. You enter the X coordinate and then the Y coordinate. You may only move 20 paving stones in any direction, so the maximum move is 13, 13, or 20, 0. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, because we want references to Pythagoras when it comes to just basic movement, don't we? Oh, my giddy aunt. If you hit a wall, you lose 10% of your strength. <coughs> okay, the objects of state may be used to kill certain. Hang on, so if you're at 100 strength, and you run into a wall, you're then at 90% strength. Okay, that, that makes sense. You then run into a wall again, you're then at 80. Run into a wall, and, until eventually you're down to 10% health. Surely at that point, you running into a wall, you're not going to have the strength to run into a wall fast enough to knock off that last 10%. Surely you, you're going to be crawling at that point, and you can't knock off another 10% of... Anyway. The objects of state may be used to kill certain monsters, but can only be used once and have a 10% chance of failure. Okay. <laughs> Alright, these are written down. I, I, I do have these written down. Whether that's focused, I do not know. Okay. Landslide, wind and fireball. Type spell for summary. <coughs> yes? Ooh. You have found a neutral vampire with power 12. The vampire uses spell number 1 on you. You have a strength of 490. Alright, well we'll have to attack him then. Let's do wind. I'm going to fart at him. 2. The spell has no affect. Mm. Effect. Effect, it would be there. The vampire uses spell number 1 on you. Um... Well, let's try one at him then. Landslide back at him. <coughs> the vampire uses number one on you. you have a, did did number one not work on him then? Did we have three fireball? Let's try that. Spell had no affect. Hmm. Well, we'll keep using one on him then. The vampire is no more. You're at eleven eleven. Um. Input direction. I don't know. Um, does it explain this to move? When you're given the Q direction of runaway, enter the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. You may only move 20 paving stones in any direction. Oh, sorry, let's do 10. 
Was it comma ten? Or um, let's try ten comma ten. Nope, doesn't like that. Let's try ten space ten. It's having a think. It's having a think. You've found a neutral dragon. You've been given a distance meter. Brilliant. Okay. 2121. You're a 37 away from. Um, well, if I go 10 10 again, is that going to take me closer or further away? And. Right. He's used number four on me. I don't have a number four. Can I do a run away? No, actually he's only 82. Let's have a go at him. Let's try that fireball. I didn't say it had no effect. I'm going to do it again. And again. Wizard is no more. You're 35 away from the magic spot. Um, let's do ten zero. Gotta be, gotta be good at imagining spatial coordinates in your head. Twenty nine away from oh bloody hell! How far? Your compass reads minus one. Oh, hang on, compass. I've got the compass now. What's that? So if it's uh, one one means you should move in both the x and the y direction. So I should keep moving in x and go backwards in y. Uh, ha ha. Um, so let's do ten and with minus on this keyboard. There it is. Uh, shift and minus ten. So I'm still going. So I'm going backwards, but more over to the left, perhaps. Your strength has been increased. You're at fifty-one, twenty-one. You're a sixteen away. Keep going in the same way then. Ten minus ten. Eight spots away. Oh, now I need to stop going. Um, let's go uh, minus five um, and minus ten. It's a bit halfway, isn't it? You have found an evil dragon. Oh, um, landslide. No affect. Hmm. Okay. Uh, wind. We'll fart on him. No affect. We'll try fire then. Fire has no effect. Great. Can we do four? Can't use that spell. Let's do fire again. No. Two. One. Nothing I have has any effect, so let's run away. Um, minus three. Uh, minus five. It's going to do... You've hit a wall and lost 10%. Dragon has not followed you. You're four away from the magic spot. Okay. So where's the wall? Is that to the left or to the right? Well, let's do one, one. Or am I going to walk myself into the wall again? Oh, he's having a good old think about this now. Blimey, you've found a good water worm. You've been taught spell four. Great. Three away. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. Ooh, we're going to get to the good spot. 
What's a good spot? No, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I found a good mummy. <laughs> good mummy. You've been taught spell five. You are two away from the magic spot. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's do one, one again. Right, okay. So let's do a minus one. One. Hopefully that should be it. You're now on the magic spot. You've earned the great ring. You're being, you've been transported to another level. You're at 56, 56, you're 41 away. Okay. So, let's go 13 minus 13. And sit here looking at blank screen while it thinks about you. have found a neutral rock monster with power 72. He uses spell number 2 on you. Well, let's use spell number 2 back on him then. Or her. No effect. Affect. No. One has no effect. Oh, three works. Could do with some more health myself though, couldn't I? Spell had no effect this time. Ah. Well, I'm going to keep hitting him with three. Maybe I should try two, maybe I should mix it up a bit. Hey, rock monster is no more, but I'm almost deaded. I am 23 away from the magic spot. So, keep going X, but go backwards on the Y. So we'll do a 10 and a minus 10. And, oh, it's having a good long think about it again. Neutral Vampire. I've been taught spell seven. Ooh, what spell seven? Seven is Reign of Holy Water. Ooh, hoo, hoo. You're at 79, 73, you're right. Right, okay, 79, 73. Well, let's go, let's go uh, five minus five, perhaps. going to do now. Four away and I found a good dragon. Taught me spell number eight. Earthquake. So rain of holy water, earthquake and make pool. So we construct a construct a pool table do we? Uh, four away. Minus one, minus one. Well, let's do minus two, minus two. Got to go back in both directions. Let's not crawl at minus one, but let's let's go a couple of spaces and see. And how are we doing? Find an evil giant. Oh dear, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble here. Um, earthquake, maybe. Let's try eight. Is that going to knock him up? Oh. Oh, the giant uses spell number two on you. You have a strength of minus three. You have failed. You were murdered by a giant. <laughs> <gasps> right, there we go then. So, Sword of Peace, you wander around a grid, vaguely, kind of not knowing where you're going until you get stumble across someone neutral who or good who gives you pointers that just says you are so far away and in that sort of rough direction. And then it's just a case of randomly choosing some paces to take in a certain direction and hope that you land up on the um, magic spot and do that how many times? How many things were there? Four objects. Well, I made it a quarter of the way through. I got the first one. I only had three more to do. But you know what? I think I'll end it there on that one <laughs> because I suspect another run through <coughs> excuse me, will probably be much the same. But that said, um, it's fairly entertaining, isn't it? I, I, I quite like it for all its simplicity. Um, I say simplicity, it's actually quite complicated. It's a good compilation, this. Um, I got this off, I don't know if you watched the other video, I got this off Vil Lord Such, and it's a, it's a pretty good compilation. Thanks, Vil. Galaxians is arcade action, and this is adventure. It's a nice sort of mix of the two. The ones you've got fast blasting action, and that's it, and this one you've got, you know, you've got to wander around, choosing spells, 
meeting different monsters using your imagination, shall we say. But yeah, that's um that's alright, that is. <laughs> what happens if I press enter now? It takes us back to a listing of the game. <laughs> I could go through that, couldn't I, and um change it from affect to effect. But um I, I, I'm not, not that bothered, really. <laughs> or, I, yeah, I can't be asked. It does bother me. I can't be asked. But there we go. Um, that is Sword of Peace from Arctic Computing on the ZX81. Hope you enjoyed watching. I'll catch you on the next one, maybe. Ta-ta.